has been completely decided yet. 3-2, got him chasing a letter high fastball and he blew him away. Strike three, back at double play depth. Everybody deals off speed, ground ball up the middle. Mangler's got it, flips to Yas, the relay in time and that'll end the inning. Durham checks the runner at second, comes home. Got him swinging on this one, it's in the dirt. Torres will have to go down to first. Whoa, he almost air mailed that one. Nice reach by Nabalski. That is a big strikeout by Matt Dermott. Certainly you're thinking fastball here for Yasinich. This one short hops him and gets away from Estel, goes to the backstop, and Duel will stand up as he comes home with the game's first run. Iowa leads it one to nothing on the wild pitch. He's swinging away, a chopper down to third. Day's got it, he fires the second for one. Rossetti's relay, got him! What a turn right there. Third double play of the ball game, and the base pass emptied with two down here in the Boilermaker sixth. My guess is that was relayed to Nick Hibbing. One and two. Checking the runner at second. Comes home, got him swinging, strike three. We'll head to the 11th. Dermody to Hibbing, the result the same. No runs, no hits, no errors, and two left the board. Payoff pitch, Bramer sets, fires, outside ball four, and the go-ahead run is aboard. And give the Hawkeyes the lead. First pitch swinging, ground ball deep in the hole at short, and it's through, base hit! Yasinich pumping his fist as he comes home to score. Torres on the first pitch, lines an RBI single to the left, and the Hawkeyes retake the lead two to one. Lights beaming down here at Alexander Field. Real one, this one ripped deep to right field. Look out, good height. Is it curling? Fair ball, home run. It's a walk off. First base umpire Scott Inman was late in that call and Jack Dom's coming out to argue. Right now it stands, Nabalski's over to argue. Zutenhorst coming out to argue, so is Jack Dom, and they're saying get some help. They are saying get some help, we'll see if he does. Well, you're gonna have one team that's really happy and one team that's not. Yep. And the call's gonna, whoa! Oh, they're shit. waving it off Holy as a strike! Cow. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Well, we said Coach Schreiber's been quiet all night. He won't be now. Holy cow! Trying to get Purdue play-by-play -play man Rob Blackman's attention to see if he could, they had a better they angle a better, on it than we did. Better. And you know, Schreiber didn't throw too much. Not terribly. No. The one-two, off speed, yes. got him swinging, and the Hawkeyes win. Yeah, that was intense, I mean. If that was one word to describe the game, intense was it. I've had a lot of ups and downs, so, so going on a strong note def, 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 definitely means a lot to me. The job that they did, Matt Dermody going out there and throwing, I think it was nine and two thirds innings, just competing. I mean, all the pitchers that were in the game day for us and for, for Purdue did a tremendous job. But, you know, you can't throw much better and, and show much more heart than, than the job that uh, Matt Dermody did. Uh, I can't say enough about Dermody tonight. He was just on fire. And uh, even when his stuff wasn't there, he bowed back. And, it, I mean, it was just a great thing to see him go that long. Anthony Torres, you know, came up with that big hit. Um, the last three weeks he's been playing tremendously not only offensively, but also defensively. It felt good, I just, they went up there trying not to do too much, and uh, you know, he, the guy on the other team pitched well tonight, I'll give it to him, but uh, you know, I just went up there not trying to do too much, and uh, it, our team just battled their butts off tonight, so it was really good to see. What'd you see from home plate on the ball down the line? That was foul. I actually got got blocked out, but uh, the guys in the bullpen, the right fielder, and the balls, he all said it was, it was a foul ball. The ball was hooking and hooked before the, the foul pole. You know, give credit to the umpires. It would have been easy to walk off the field and, and not got the call right, but they got the call right. And when you got two teams battling like that, the pitchers battling like they did, the umpires did a tremendous job of, of getting the correct call. No, you know, I saw the ball go up and I was just praying that it went foul. And I think everybody in the stands was hoping that it went fair, but you know, was, we were lucky that it went out, uh, out of play and, uh, you know, come back and regroup myself and try to get that last guy out again because I knew he was anxious. Oh,